Hi guys, welcome back, and today we are fitting the KMS Hurricane Catback to the Fiesta SD. First things first, I'm going to remove the spat and then I am going to remove the diffuser. So, as you can see, rear spats are off, that was nice and simple. So what you've got to do is to remove the rear diffuser, you've got to drill out this rivet here, a rivet here, and up in here, there is a rivet. So once we've got these ones out, we'll be able to pull this down and get to that. Obviously, same on the other side, and then just underneath, one and two, undo them, they should be nice and easy. And then I believe that should be the diffuser, free and ready to come off. So the two nuts under here, they are both 10 mils, so literally just take them off and then we should be all free. So now they're off, it's literally, should just be a case of just slowly prying it off all the way around, unclipping the clips and then uh, should be free. Voila! Free! Um, best way of doing it is use a little pry tool and just push down on these little clips. You'll see it if you're Each doing one. it at the same time. So when you're doing it and pulling it off, just give it a yank. Nice! So, as you can see, this is the brand new diffuser, uh, fully painted in gloss black. So. Only way to go. I did consider colour coding it, but nah, gloss black all the way. Matches everything else on the car. So as you can see, we have the exhaust system kind of laid out at the moment. So obviously running from cat adapter straight down into the centre pipe. So lucky enough it is all split, so it really helps with fitting it. So then this is the then curved section going back to the back boxes. Obviously again split into two because obviously it's uh, different to the original. And then going to the two twin four and a half inch tailpipes. So we're removing the old exhaust. We're gonna cut it at the back box and then we are gonna unbolt it up by the cat. And then hopefully, if all goes well, it should just literally pull straight out and then, um, well, I guess out of the old and in with the new. So what we're gonna do, as Jordan said, is cut it, we're gonna cut this way and avoid the brake line because don't wanna deal through that. I'm going to cut the crones here. Hopefully, we're not going to have to worry about the heat shield, but it's there to protect us from actually doing any damage to the car. Uh, get your recip saw. Oh, fucking hell. If, if you've got a smaller blade, it'll probably be a bit easier. But kind of out there. Should be all right, right? Does that look all right, George? Yeah. Yeah? Looks nice. Box delete done. Hey, hey. So, um, the reason we did it with everything connected still is so, as Jordan just explained, I didn't get smashed in the face by a back box. But that is your uh, back box delete done. Silicon spray, like we did on the Cobra exhaust. Put some love on the hangers. These ones we're actually going to take right the way out we've got some new ones to put in. That one can come out and we've got one on the rear as well.
Um, as I discovered in the Cobra video, silicon spray doesn't taste very nice. So, if you've never taken hangers out before, what you've got is it's two bits of rubber, as you can see. You've got an open end. You've just got to give this bit of a yank. That's that out. And if you get friendly um, assistance to hold this. Got it, got it. Yeah. yeah. That's your back box out. And the reason, oh, sorry, sorry. the reason the back box has to be cut out is because we can't be bothered to drop the subframe. <laughs> or you can do this by dropping the subframe, putting it out that way, but it's easy just to cut it because you know you've got a nice massive exhaust to put on there. Um, this is what the back box delete sounds like if you're ever wanting to do one. Um, and just cut it out for yeah. cheap. <laughs> actually <laughs> we wouldn't recommend just leaving it though you'd have to have a piece of metal rock coming right the way through but hey right, so we're now going to remove the center brace um it is a 14 mil and it has uh, four screws one two three four and actually come straight off so we're going to Unbolt here and here, and that's coming off the downpipe. And then we can uh, take out the old exhaust. So I think it's a 14. Uh, maybe. Yeah, 14. I think. Oh, come on. Yeah, and we'll, uh, we'll bolt that out. So as you can see, we did run into a bit of an issue trying to get the um, bolts off to where the cat is. Absolute pain. So we ended up just running it down to a shop and they just quickly got it off for us. We just couldn't get the leverage underneath the car. It was a pain, so uh, yeah, we just did that. But now that's all done, we are sort of ready to put the new exhaust on. So, yes. Um, so that was like the worst thing ever. But now let's just assemble it. Hopefully it's a lot better. So we're just putting in some assembly paste on. So if you can always do it from the front of the engine going backwards and assemble as you go. Don't make them too tight because you can tie it up all at the end. It's nice to have a little bit of movement. So it's now as simple as hopefully just getting some assembly paste, plopping a bunch of assembly paste in. Making sure you get in a rear wet. Um, that's annoying. What? That paste is on the wrong side. It's got in there. All right. Uh, as you've probably just seen. The paste is now, it shouldn't be on the outside, it should be on the inside. So I'm just going to quickly clean that as much as I can. And uh, it'll all get blown through anyway. Install an exhaust, they said. It'll be fun, they said. You've done it twice before. I know. <laughs> Not f***ing forward, never again. Can anyone see that? That is a satisfying thing to see when it goes in. Now I line the hole up. So right, now we've got the mid res on, we're now doing this part of mid the exhaust, pipe. mid pipe. You don't have a res? Well, it's just gonna be loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mid pipe now, we have no res, because you know, go loud all the Oh, sorry. Um, 
We're now gonna put all the paste on the inside of this and then literally this is just a case of putting this on, clamping it on and then um, move on to the next part. And if you didn't see how it worked underneath, potentially that's your clamp, that goes on and then close around these metal bits and these metal bits get smaller, essentially. Um, grab a, I was going to say grab a towel. A towel? Yeah, just a little smash a little bit. So, um, with the kit you also get some rubbers, some new rubber hangers. They're quite tough actually, they're quite nice. Um, so what we've done with it, just a bit of WD silicon, pops it on, you get a nice little pop noise, but it's uh, just breaking the rubber in between. And then preload them onto your hangers, or anything. You've got the one there and you've got one just over here, so I'm going to quickly... that on just because these got the little knobs on the top on the little on the hanger so it's a bit harder to do when it's not got or when you're holding the exhaust on it and we have an exhaust gasket and some bolts, hopefully. Yep, bolts are just behind you. Nice. Go on your one. Yep. I assume my one then sits in a bit push. That's it, there we go. Yeah. Through. Yeah. So, um, you need your exhaust hanger for the left-hand side of the car. Obviously, the car doesn't have one standard. So you get a nice little bracket that's all supplied with the kit. You want to use this point here. So when you've got the bumper off, it's the best time to do it. As you can see, you want to slide the bolt through. You then want to slide this in like so. And then you put the bolt and the washer on the other side. Get some good right up in there. See, that is your hanger on. And I'm sure that's the right way. If not, we'll turn it around and show you. Yes, I can't watch this back. <laughs> so, um, the next bit is a mid pipe that comes across, goes around the wheel well, and on to the uh, Hang on. hanger that we've just made. So just a quick over on for what we've actually done so far. So from the cat back, we put the adapter onto the mid pipe. I'm not gonna say mid res because there's no res on it. Then from the mid uh, mid pipe, we've got uh, from in the bend that goes over the axle. And then from there, we have got our sort of first back box that then crosses over to the middle of the car. From there, once that's been bolted on, we've then put this side on with this hanger through here. And now it is going to be a case of putting the tips on, rear diffuser, and we should be done. As you can see, four and a half. Lovely. Now time for the tips. The bracket. Obviously, we fully recommend just giving it all obviously a good clean down because it's filthy. You just want to make sure it all sticks on fine. So, um, yeah, just give it a good old wipe down and you should all be good to go. So, uh, we're just going to put a tiny little bit of a DC. So, as you can see, we've now got the diffuser on. Um, we just sort of had to adjust the hangers and just sort of like tighten everything just to make sure the tips were sort of level in and out. Like that, but that's easy to do. This is literally a couple of bolts, just, just a quick adjustment. But as you can see, it's all on. We've got a couple of clamps just here at the minute, just where we glued them on the uh, on the sides. But yeah, straightforward. Literally just clip straight in. And it's all easy. Can't really go wrong. But um, it's all. remember, it's in gear. It's out of gear. Okay.
And then we got a quick sound test. Go on in. No, just give it a couple of revs. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. So, as you can see, the exhaust is now all on. Everything is stuck down the sides. Exhaust tips all sorted. Um, I am honestly in love with this system. It looks absolutely amazing. It's so much better than what I had on there. Um, I do personally think it just absolutely transforms the rear of the car. So, honestly, I'm in love. Very expensive, but money, uh, money well spent. So, as you can see, it wasn't 100% straightforward. We did have that one issue with the bolt. Hopefully you don't have the same issue as we did. Um, if you don't have that issue, as you can see, it's so easy to do in the garden. It, without the issue, it will probably take you a couple of hours, two and a half hours max. You know, it's once it all cl it clips together so easily. So it's just that bolt was causing us the issue. Obviously, hopefully you don't have that issue. But um, that's it from us. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helped you. I hope it's sold you to buy one if you've been thinking about it because. It's one of them, I've been sat on it, thinking about it for ages, and I've just gone, let's just do it. So, again, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.